Damon X Machina. This is uh, another great game, uh, as you said, for Marvelous and Scudasan. And what you're going to see today is we're going to actually go on uh, two brand new missions. And we're also going to kind of show some changes that you will see um, from the prototype missions demo. Um, before we begin, would Mr. Scuda like to have any opening remarks? Great. Uh, as you mentioned, I'm Scudo from Marvelous, and uh, I'm really excited to share um, all the things that uh, we're going to talk about today. Right on. Okay. So we'll get right into it. All right. So what you see uh, here today is a character that I personally created. You can see the baldness represented uh, by me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to first go into um, the mission, uh, excuse me, the hangar. But what I want to do is kind of show where it all starts. So when you first start this game, um, you are a mercenary who is kind of taking on these missions. Um, to kind of defend the planet. Uh, what happened is part of the moon kind of fell from the sky and it, it caused all, all different kinds of commotion, allowing you to kind of become a pilot, I guess you would say. And you pilot what these things are called arsenals. Arsenals are these big robotic suits you can get into. So when, you, when we released the prototype mission demo, this is kind of the first arsenal that you may have been able to put together. And what I'd like to do now is kind of go into my hangar here and I'm going to change my loadout to the ones that I have personally created. So I'm going to go with what I call Soul. I mean, you're going to see that there's different stats here. Um, the very first original loadout, you can tell that the stats are pretty low. This is like the starter arsenal. And then this next arsenal, you'll see that I've kind of loaded out uh, and with all different kinds of weapons. You'll see that I have two weapons on my uh, left and right pylon. And I have two guns in my front hand. They're kind of like assault rifles. And I really wanted to load up with some um, ammunition, so I have like an extended ammo clip on my back, and then I have a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. Data load, yes. All right, I'm gonna back out. Now, just to kind of show you what that looks like, if I actually were to back out of this, speed, um, you can see that now my hangar actually reflects the, the actual arsenal that I have, and then even since I named it, it actually even has the name of <laughs> my arsenal and I put my name as D so those are wondering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now to get into that let's kind of talk about the changes. Um, so while I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the hangar here and I'm gonna go to our testing grounds and while we load up why don't we have Mrs. Kuda just start talking about the changes that we've had since then. Hi. So as you said, uh, this is testing grounds where you can really test out all of the equipment and the parts you can equip, and I'll just go over some of the changes we made from the demo version. Okay. あの、皆さんの要望でなんかすごくこう and so, uh, first of all, we got a lot of feedback that people wanted some motion control, so we've uh, added that. But I understand that uh, some people may not want to use motion controls as well, so we added it as a customizable option within the menu. Yes. And like you saw just in the menu right there. And and we also got feedback that the enemy units are a little bit hard to identify, so we added some markers so it's easily identifiable. And also, when you're receiving damage, we added indicators to, so, to show indicate which direction the uh, attack is coming from. まあ、and there's also uh, some smaller changes that we made uh, based on the feedback, and we've uh, tried to adjust uh, almost all of them. And because this is a game where you can really traverse on ground and in the air, we just made it um, the experience a lot more uh, uh, easily viewable and easily enjoyable. And for some of the other changes, I will uh, I will point them out as we uh, play okay. along the game.
I'm noticing a yellow line on the uh, mini-map on the top right. Uh, could Mr. Tsukura sort of elaborate on the out-of-bounds area ah. that we can see? Hi. Or encounter? あの、デモ版だとはそこのエリアは最初あのプロレスみたいな感じでこうバウンドしての遊びとかを入れる予定だったんですけど、思ったよりちょっと難しそうだったので、えっとそこを超えてもタイム制限があって自由に行ける形に
Okay, I'm almost there. I got six more targets left. Just gotta keep looking around. Oh, there's an enemy arsenal. All right, let's get into a good old dog fight. Oh, I'm too good. <laughs> but let's see what you got. Access. Oh, okay. New item. Looks like that was going to be a new missile launcher of, a, of some type. I so I know uh, Demetrius just uh, went ahead and picked up, collected the parts from the fallen unit, but there's actually time after the mission to collect that, so you can do that at any time. But I know that when it's there, you just you just need to grab it, right? I can't help myself, so <laughs> I apologize, but I have to. Sweet hungry. All right, so let me go ahead and get these two guys down here. Then. There's one. I'll take the guilty throne. Which, oh, there's another one. Here. Yes. Oops. There are two. Oh, is there more? Oh, there's one more. これはですね、あの、他の傭兵がこう、この作戦の中にこう乱入してくることがあるので、その時は逆にあの倒すといい装備を持ってるので、まあで。so what you see here is uh, during some missions, uh, other mercenaries can, uh, come crashing your party. And uh, because of that, sometimes uh, they have really great equipment. So um, it's a good idea to uh, defeat them and take their equipment. And especially now that this mission you have uh, fellow uh, allies that are battling with you. So I think it's a great opportunity to take him down. Oh, I was going to use those. <laughs> yeah, and as, you, as uh, D mentioned, that um, if you are uh, time it well enough, you can use those uh, uh, explosions from um, objects in the environment to cause some big damage uh, against your opponent. So I personally, sometimes uh, when I'm playing, I just kind of do a little bit of battle and then just let my allies do the rest of the gym. Impudent. Okay. Got him. I'll just heal up a little bit just to help. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get take good care of myself. I really don't need to do this, but I just want to make sure I'm, I'm going to get my health back a little bit. <laughs> You're returning to base. I know. I just want to take good care. It's like, it's like having a, a car, right? A little self-care. A little self-care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mission complete. You'll see that we have a um, mission complete screen. You'll see that my total income, I got 27,000 credit. I have a little bit of expenses there. So I made a total of 17,000, which I can use to purchase new um, parts um, in the shop. Um, and you saw that I also got a bonus objective, so I earned a little bit more. And this is uh, a list of all the loot. So I looted a lot of good stuff. I also got some additional tags. And I also got, yeah, the tag that I can use to kind of like name myself. And I got a little piece of paint so I can use that as well. So there's a lot of customization in this game. Um, one thing I actually uh, didn't get a chance to touch on was the customization of your arsenal. So I'll do that next real quick. We got a little bit of time. So I just want to make sure everyone understands this game has an incredible amount of customization. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back into the hangar. And if I go to the paint options here, you'll see that you can actually have different patterns. There's a lot to unlock. Um, and then you can actually color your arsenal in many different ways. You can do it by full body, or you can actually do it by different parts. I personally love doing stuff like this. Uh, it takes me a while to do it. I did this a little bit right now for you guys, uh, but, but I could spend hours on crafting like all kinds of fun stuff. And then you can actually get decals too um, that you can put on different body parts as well. So lots of cool ways to bring your personality to life into this game. All right, so let's go ahead and go back into what is the final mission. And this one's a toughie. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I'm going to do actually is go to Hangar, because I actually think I'm going to change my loadout to Soul Mark II. Forgot to do that. It's going to be this one. <laughs> So uh -oh. you're talking about customization, um, but on top of customi customizing your arsenal, you're also able to customize your actual character. So yes. you've actually done some bionic enhancements to your your character. Yes, it's something that we're going to show a little bit later. Um, one thing I want to do real quick is change something. I actually goofed and I saved the wrong part, so that's on me. <laughs> but that's no problem. I can just go into weapons here, and I'm going to change one of my... I'm going to change the right pylon, and I'm going to go to... Uh, where is it? Oh, 
gosh. Um, I'm looking for a particular, ah, oh, there it is. Mm. There, I'm just gonna switch that. I really needed this, uh, or it would've been really hard. <laughs> I think Mr. Sushi. Sakuda would've been like, I told you, you should <laughs> use that because weapon. because he knows what's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use that flamethrower to take down this boss. Um, because he, it's a really tough boss, and I really needed that. So, all right, I'm going to go into offer missions. So, one thing real quick, uh, free missions are missions you can, you can play over and over again. Offer missions are where the story comes into play. And so what we're going to do now is take down um, what's called a Colossal Immortal, a boss. And this guy is no joke, so definitely need everyone to help me out as I just concentrate and not get blown up. <laughs> but it's super fun. It's super fun. All right, so we'll this go ahead and just pass this part. We'll them. see it's an unknown enemy, so I'm just going to dive right into this. All right, and, and to, uh, just to put what immortals are in context, yes. this is a uh, hostile AI that's sort of corrupting arsenals. That has been corrupted. So this is the force that has been corrupted. So uh, this is the force that your main character is trying to battle against. Yes, one of the, one of the, one of the things, and I'm sure Mr. Sakuda can elaborate on that too if you'd like to kind of dive a little bit more on what a colossal immortal Approach is. あの、なんていうんですかね。えっと、モグラとかがいるんですけど、モグラってこう見たことある人はあると思うんですけど、地面の上でもめちゃくちゃ早くて、もうそういう感じでこいつ地面に上に出てきた方が怖いみたいな。So um I don't know if you've uh, ever encountered a real life mole. Uh, if you haven't, uh, they're actually surprisingly very fast on the ground. So actually, when, they, when this uh, immortal comes out, he actually travels faster. He seems like he travels faster uh, on the ground, above ground than he does underground. あと今こう、ヘムトアーマーって言われてるのもこう使ってくれてるんですけど、今こう、羽になったりとか、あの、見せたと思うんですけど、この肩のところなんかで変形して、こう、アサルトモードっていうのと、ウィングとシールドモード
And it's just based on this mission alone. Oh, gotcha. 今こうデンプリスは火炎放射器ですごく温めてると思うんですけどあいつ熱くなるとそのスタミナ不足になって潜らなくなるので攻撃しやすくなりますそうですねデミトリスは火炎放射器を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って火炎を使って And so, when you're playing、uh, the game in co op, it's really helpful to、uh, designate some people for certain roles, like using a t h i n k e r It makes the battle a lot more easier to handle. Okay, where is he? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 So,、um, Dimitri is actually doing a really good job.、Uh, this boss, actually, as you're、uh, progressing through the battle, he gets、uh, stronger and stronger. So, really, it's about、uh, viewing, realizing what your fighting style is and what the、uh, fighting style of the boss is, and then based on that,、uh, strategically changing your、uh, loadout. There we go. Hitting these weak points does a lot of damage. So, I'm trying to get. Okay, now he's getting really tough. This is where he starts firing lasers at me, and I gotta make sure not to get hit by that. I have not much health left. Actually, oh, my enemy, or not my enemy, my teammate. My enemy oh. Has oh. oh, I'm bad. I'm short of Femto. You can help yourself right now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs>、oh, I almost got him. Oof. Oof. No, 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 don't face me in that direction. <laughs> No. <laughs> 今時間もあるのでこう回復せずに戦ってくれてると思うんですけどあの普通に回復とかも置いてありますのでこう慎重にやれば倒せる敵だと思います。So,、uh, because we have limited time, I know Demetrius isn't going for the health and just trying to beat him, but、uh, when you're playing normally, you can go out and、uh, reco get, okay, recover、so、your health. And、uh, I think it'll be easy to beat it. Very <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, I could have recovered my health and got into the field like Mr. Scooter was saying, but I was making sure I get it on time and woo! <laughs> It's like a fade shot at the buzzer. <laughs> Stay down! <laughs> <laughs> But now you get to reap the rewards for eliminating him. Oh, poor Sif. Yeah, <laughs> probably reboot him. I got get him back、Sif. on his feet. Oh my god. Did Johnny Jardy <laughs> fuck out? Johnny's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see Johnny. Oh no, wait, Johnny's、uh, over here somewhere. Yeah, thanks a lot, Johnny J. Hiding <laughs> behind a rock. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much what we have、uh, today. We do have.